Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new then hi, I'm Grace and I'm a second year BSc Microbiology student at the University of Leeds. So in today's video I'm going to be talking about my placement application experience with Amgen and if you haven't seen my previous two videos talking about my Disney and cancer research um, experiences then I will link them in the description below and in the cards and make sure to go and give them a watch. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe down below and let's get straight into the video. The role that I applied for with Amgen was communications and PR intern. So Amgen is a large pharmaceutical company um, and they are mainly based um, in uh, the United States of America, but they do have um, a base in Ireland, I believe. And the role that I was applying for was in Cambridge. Um, I think they have um, an area in London as well. This specific role, communications and PR intern, I decided to apply for as I think it very much suits um, my skills and um, very similar to sort of the experiences that I've had and currently having as well in terms of um, my role as a student engagement intern at my university where I was producing newsletters, video content um, and a variety of other uh, different things to do with communications essentially and working with people. So that's very much sort of similar to the role in terms of my YouTube channel as well, interacting with different people, communicating via video um, and social media as well. That's another thing. So part of the role was um, maintaining uh, social media sites um, and websites and things like that. So very sort of the things that I'd done are very similar to the requirements of the role. So that's why I decided to apply. I first heard about the role when it was, I saw it advertised on our sort of university jobs board. So we have a career site and we also have a placement specific and um, sort of FBS year in industry site. Um, so FBS Faculty of Biological Sciences um, year in industry site where they um, advertise um, a number of different placements on there. So I saw that advertised and um, did some more research into it and thought that I would definitely be a good one to apply for. Um, given that it was in Cambridge as well, it's um, quite close to where I live so I could drive there. So I wouldn't have to spend money on accommodation, most probably. Um, you never know, I may decide have decided to have moved to Cambridge. Um, but if not, then I could have driven there. In terms of the application, they asked for a CV and then there was a few application questions. So the questions were why I'd applied to work in the pharmaceutical industry. Um, what has motivated me to apply um, for this specific role? Um, it then asked about the skills that I could bring to the role, and then it also gave um, sort of said any other comments you want to add to your application. So any other things you want you think would be beneficial for um, the recruiters to read about. So that was the general application. <laughs> I then got an email saying that um, I um, was successful in my initial application and was invited to the next stage, which was a one way interview, which I can tell you is it really an experience in itself. I had two or three days um, to basically log on to this specific site um, and answer these questions. So what happens is, is I had five different questions. So I'd, I'd log in and everything and then I'd start the interview. <laughs> and then the first question would pop up um, and then I'd have, I think it was about a minute to sort of um, read the question and sort of gather my thoughts. Um, and then I could, um, I didn't have to use the whole minute, I could skip and start with my answer. Um, but basically you'd get that one minute to look at the question and think about what you want to say. And then a video would start and it would start recording you. So I think I had two minutes for all of my questions. Um, to record my answers. So basically it says start and then you start recording your answers. So if it said, I don't know, why have you applied for this role? It would then go three, two, one. And then I say, so the reason that I've applied for this role is blah, 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 blah. And I'd have two minutes to say what I wanted to say. And then at the end of the two minutes, it would stop. So I had to make sure that I got my answer in in that two minutes. Um, and with this particular one way interview, I wasn't able to re-record my answers. So it was purely just first time had to get it right kind of thing. Um, so I had five questions of those um, and then that was the one my interview finished. I 
I then got an email after saying that I'd been invited to the final stage, so the interview stage, which was with um, the manager from Amgen, um, with the current intern um, and a lady from Cogent Skills, which sort of managed the HR side to the role. This was the first time as I was actually communicating um, with people who are actually working at Amgen. So a little bit of a, a negative. Before the interview, I was asked to prepare um, sort of two tasks. So one of the tasks was where I had to tell them more about me. So I decided to do a video, of course. Um, so you may have seen that video. It's um, now renamed uh, Showcasing Skills uh, in a video for an interview or something along those lines. I'll link it down below if you're interested. Um, and I basically did a video showing all my different um, hobbies and achievements and things outside of um, university essentially. So that was one of the tasks. The second task was then writing a newspaper article which was on, I want to say Amgen's biotech experience. It was their 10 year, um, they've been going for 10 years so we had to write a newspaper article about that. Um, so I actually decided to do that on Canva so it looked pretty. I included images and I was quite pleased with what I'd written about that. I basically had to prepare those tasks prior to the interview and send them off. I think it was a few days before the interview so they could look at them um, and then they just asked me to sort of discuss them and why I decided to take different approaches and things like that. Um, so although that did take quite a lot of time it was quite enjoyable um, doing those tasks so it wasn't too bad. In terms of the actual interview, which was about 40 minutes to an hour, the manager, he was he was really nice, he was down to earth, um, and the current intern was from University of Leeds, and I'd actually spoken to her a little bit before on LinkedIn, just asking her some questions, um, and she was really lovely as well, really smiley and positive. Um, so the actual overall uh, interview experience was really, really good. It was just predominantly sort of um, getting to know me, and then more specific questions like describe yourself in, in three words. They asked me if I could cure any disease, what would I cure? Um, so it was, it was a pretty ch chilled interview, to be fair. Um, it, was, it was quite nice, and um, they were really helpful in talking about um, if I did get the job, like um, accommodation in Cambridge and how um, the current intern had found that and things like that. Um, so the interview was really positive overall. I think it was about, well they said that was one of the other negatives, is that they said that um, we'll let you know in 24 hours, and they didn't let me know in 24 hours, it was, I can't remember, maybe like a week or so, um, which isn't too bad like in itself, but the fact that they'd said we're going to let you know in 24 hours and then did it was uh, a bit annoying to be fair because then again I thought right I haven't got it because they've said to the person who's got it you've got it and then they're waiting to hear back to, as to whether that person um, is accepting kind of thing so that was a bit of a negative as well. Um, like I didn't mind that it was a week but if you just don't tell me it's going to be 24 hours when it's not kind of thing. Um, so I got an email back um, from the lady I've been corresponding with from Cogent Skills, so again, not very personable. Um, again, it was just sort of generic email, like, thank you for applying, blah, 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 that's definitely used in a million other emails. Um, they did give some really positive, nice feedback, so this was actually from Amgen, um, and they said things along the lines of, they were really, really impressed that, um, with my confidence, and I, would, I was really <laughs> perfect for the role. Um, it was purely just the other candidate. I had more experience um, in corporate affairs, which the communications and PR team work with them. Um, and I forgot to say as well that this role was also uh, open to graduates as well. Um, so this person may have been a graduate who'd already done a year in industry, already had experiences. So um, they said if there were two roles, they would have loved that and loved to have given me a role. So it was really nice to hear such positive feedback. And I'd already heard from McCann Health, um, I'd already got my role from them. Um, which I did really want to accept. So it wasn't too much of a downer. Overall, um, it wasn't the best application experience. In terms of the actual, like Amgen, the people who I spoke to in the interview were really nice. Um, and the actual tasks and things weren't too much. Like the one we interviewed, that was an experience, but I'm probably going to have to do that at some point in my life. So it was good to get that experience in. So basically the way that Amgen did things was that they had, um, they essentially had a company employed called Cogent Skills, which run their sort of initial recruitment. So 
this I didn't really like because I didn't think it was particularly personable. Um, the woman who I was sort of corresponding with often made mistakes in the emails. You could tell that they were very generic emails um, and the way that they were set out wasn't very good. Sometimes I even got texts from them which was a, I found was a little bit informal. Sometimes she'd take a long time to respond to emails, sometimes I wouldn't get the information I needed. Um, so in terms of the communication um, regarding sort of my experience with the placement, I didn't think that was particularly great. Um, and considering that I presume cogent skills, their overall role is, if it is recruiting and things like that, then they, I don't think they're doing a particularly great job, or at least um, the people who were, were talking to me weren't doing an amazing job. Um, but that's just one side to things. That's not a reflection on Amgen um, as such, even though they have employed this particular company to do this for them. So that was one of the, probably the, the main sort of con with this with this experience um it wasn't anything major but i think little things really do make a difference especially when you're comparing them to other companies where their sort of hr teams have been really really positive overall it, it, they're a really not positive company I'm, I'm gonna go away from from their recruitment um company that they've employed and um, talk about amgen amgen is a really positive company um, and again their role is helping to save lives and cure disease which i think is really really positive the people who were part of the team were really lovely the manager and the current intern um, and i'm sure that if i had got that role and i had decided to go there i would have had a really positive time so yeah overall it was a, a positive experience so i hope you've enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below we're so close to 400 subscribers so i'd really really appreciate it if you've got any questions about amgen about the placement about the role make sure to comment down below and i will be sure to get back to you and i will see you in my next video bye guys